Hey guys, Minx Media Girl here. So today we're going to try a reverse dip, but with plastic. So um, I tried, I did a reverse dip before with a paper towel, a wet damp paper towel. I think it came out great. And then I tried another one, didn't come out as great. And I wanted to try it with plastic. I think I've heard of people doing it with bubble wrap. Or maybe someone suggested that on the last video. Um, I'm going to try plastic wrap. So for those of you who don't know what a reverse dip is, it's very simple. Instead of dipping your canvas in the paint, you're going to put the paint on the canvas and then dip, essentially. That's kind of the very simple explanation. And I'm just going to actually use my primary colors. Also, last time I went in a spiral. This time, I think I'm going to go in kind of a, I'm going to do maybe more of a star shape, I guess. So, primary yellow. This is my primary red. Oh, oh. <laughs> Try not to throw the cap into your painting. Starting the dip early. Some primary blue. So hopefully we get some nice rainbow here. I think we'll get something cool. I am gonna throw a little bit of black in here, I think too. Okay. Just a little bit though. Maybe like two lines. There we go. All right. And I put the base of white here. So let me grab the plastic wrap and see if we can get something pretty cool here. Okay. Now me and plastic wrap are kind of mortal enemies. Um, people always suggest put it in the freezer before using it. They say that makes it a lot easier. And I'm always like, yeah, I'll totally do that next time. And then I forget. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna give it a go. Now I haven't seen anyone do this with plastic wrap, but I did see uh, Saskia Smith do it with a plastic baggie, and she said she saw Fiona Art do it with plastic baggie. And I think overall for this technique, Fiona Art is kind of the uh, expert. So definitely check out her channel. I'll put that link to Saskia's video that I saw. Hopefully I'm saying her name correctly. Now I'm sure someone has done it with plastic wrap and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments who that was. All I'm saying is I didn't see it, but I'm sure it exists out there. So I'm just lightly patting it here just to make sure that the plastic fully picks it up. I did not put the plastic wrap on there flat, so I'm kind of curious how that will affect the design. But I want to make sure it at least gets most of it. This doesn't look like anything's happening, but I think when we pull this up, we'll be surprised. And I'm going to give this a little twist in here. Cool. Okay. So that is actually awesome already. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a straw and blow it out a little bit. Just kind of, you know, control that design a little bit. Okay, there we have it. I think this is awesome. Now, is this the most beautiful painting in the world I've ever done? No, but do I think it is so much fun and has so much potential? Absolutely. And thus far, I mean, not that I have a lot to compare it to, but I liked it with the plastic wrap, I think more than I liked it with the uh, damp paper towel. 
I will definitely be trying this out more and experimenting with it more, but for now, let's go ahead and let this sit. I am gonna put a little bit more white down here and then I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay, so here comes the close up. I love the colors on this one. And all I used was the, you know, white, red, yellow, blue, and black. And this is the, the primary set, well, with the exception of the black, but the primary set that I sell in my Etsy store, if anyone's interested. Or you can, of course, mix up your own primary colors and try this. And then I just use blast, plastic wrap. So cool. I like that I did that little twist in the middle too. I think that created a, a fun little effect there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I think this has a lot of potential. Like I think this could be used to make some really cool dragon wings or something like that or butterflies. I mean, I just put the lines in kind of, you know, in a star pattern, but you can put them in whatever pattern you want. So definitely expect more experiments on this line coming. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time.